NetSuite Quick Tips from RSM. Today, we're going to look at understanding the differences between special order and dropship items. The features drop shipments and special orders allow you to purchase items only when a sales order is approved. They both raise automatic purchase orders to vendors once the link sales order is approved. The main difference between the two features is the delivery of the item. For an item marked as dropship, the item is sent directly from your vendor to your customer. Therefore, the item is not processed in your inventory. Special orders, on the other hand, are just-in-time orders. They are not usually stocked and will only be fulfilled when the link order for the special item is received from the vendor. To use this process, we will do the following step. First, we enable the feature by going to Setup, Company, in the Setup Tasks, click Enable Features. In the Items and in Inventory, Items section, make sure you have Drop Shipment and Special Order checked and hit Save. Next, let us set up the item as drop shipment or special order. Open an item on edit and check either drop shipment in the inventory section or special order. Note that you only have one option to choose from these two. It cannot be both a drop shipment or a special order. This checkbox or options are available for both inventory and non-inventory type of items. Next, make sure you have a preferred vendor. Scroll your item to the Vendors tab and make sure you have a vendor set as preferred. It is also important that you have a purchase price, either a vendor-specific purchase price or a standard purchase price for the item. Then click Save. Here is an example of a special order item. Note that this one is marked a special order and in the Vendors tab, you also have a preferred vendor and a purchase price specific for the vendor. After we have created the items, it is now ready for a sales order transaction. Here in this example, I created a sales order for a special order item. Note that the status of this purchase order is still pending approval. Therefore, the purchase order is not yet created. Let us now go and approve the sales order. Once the sales order is approved, it will automatically process a purchase order. Let us now open the, per the sales order again. If you scroll down where the item is, is you will see the create PO is automatically populated and linked to the sales order. Now let us open the purchase order. This special order purchase order now shows a receive button. Remember that a special order needs to be received and fulfilled in the warehouse. Click on the receive button to receive the item. Once you received the item, you will now see that the sales order for the special order item is ready to be fulfilled. You can now click on fulfilled button. After we have processed the item fulfillment for the sales order for the special order item, we can now see the GL impact 
and it will follow the regular recording of cost of goods sold through the item fulfillment process. Now let us review the behavior for a dropship item. This is a sales order for a dropship item that we have already created. Notice that the create PO still shows drop shipment but no purchase order link to the sales order. This is because the sales order is still pending approval. Let us now approve the sales order. Notice that once we approve the sales order, like the previous scenario for special order, the purchase order is automatically created for this sales order. We can open the sales order And from here, we can see in the create PO, the created purchase order link to the sales order. Now let us click the purchase order created for the drop shipment. Here you will see in the purchase order that you don't have a receive button. You have a mark ship. So let us click the mark ship button and we are, we are now directed to the item fulfillment page. Remember that drop shipment process allows the fulfillment of the item by the vendor to your customer. Now let us click save. Let us now check the GL impact of this item fulfillment. Go to Actions, GL Impact. Note that there is no GL impact for the item fulfillment created from a dropship purchase order. Let us now check the purchase order. Notice that after you have processed the item fulfillment, you now have the Bill button. Click on Bill. Let us now review the jail impact of the bill. Notice that in the bill record, you are recognizing the cost of goods sold. This is also one of the differences between special order and dropship order item. For a special order item, Cost of sales or cost of goods sold is recorded in the item fulfillment, whereas for a dropship item, it is recorded when the bill is created against a purchase order. That concludes this video about the dropship and special order item in NetSuite. Thank you for watching, and we hope you learned something useful. Look out for more videos on our website.